Warning, this video may get angry. Hey guys, Colin here. I've just remembered that I own this guitar. Woo! It's an LTD and it's an MH100QM. You can see that one there. And um, this has been sitting in my cupboard for about a year, um, doing nothing. There's a few reasons for that. Reasons are, I could never keep this licensed Floyd in tune. Every time I'd use that whammy bar, it'd just go out of tune. Even when I wasn't using the whammy bar, I'd go out of tune. I hate licensed Floyds. If you're going to get a real one, get a real one. Actually, do you know what? I find that sort of strap bridges stay in tune better than Floyds do. Hey, you would have figured. Uh, the other thing that um, I don't like about it is it's got EMG active pickups. That's right, I don't like EMG active pickups. In fact, I don't like active pickups at all. I also have an Ibanez with active pickups on it, and they're better than the EMGs, the Ibanez ones. Um, but still, there's problems and things that I just, just can't like. So this video will be me having a little bit of a rant about why I don't really like the sound of active pickups. And if you like active pickups, hey, great for you. Um, there's a lot of people who do. Um, I, I, I don't, unfortunately, and, and some of the, just the problems with active pickups, and inherent with active pickups, just make them things that I, I don't want to be involved with. Um, so yeah, uh, probably, probably first off we'll have to talk about what an active pickup is, so in case you don't know. Active pickups, unlike normal passive pickups, are battery powered and have an, a preamp built into them. This extra electronic circuitry within the pickups allows for um, greater output, uh, greater possible distortion, of course, which makes them really popular with heavy metal players. They, of course, are battery powered and usually run off of 9 volt batteries. Although Ibanez's range of active pickups, they decided to go for AA batteries because those are more common. But being a guitarist, every effects pedal I've ever come across runs off of a 9 volt battery and I have a stockpile of 9 volt batteries. Why should I have to carry in double A's now, Ibanez? Why? That's, that's bullshit. Bullshit. So we're going to look into the reasons why I don't like this active circuitry. I mean, it should provide more headroom, it should provide less tone suck out of the cable, it should provide all those things. But I, what I find is that the sound is always oversaturated, and you, you usually just... It, it, it's it's a, just an... I, I like versatility. That's 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 the issue I have with, with, with EMGs and other active pickups, is that they're not as versatile as a passive pickup. And I think everyone will agree with that way. If, if you have a passive pickup, a good passive pickup, and you roll the volume on your guitar down from 10, it starts to clean up, gets a bit more vintage, gets a bit more crunchy, it sounds more classic rock than if, you, if you're sitting with a high distortion set and roll it back, more classic rock, that sort of thing. Do it with an EMG or another active pickup and you don't get that, you only get the same sound. That just sounds, that just sounds like the same thing but quieter, it doesn't clean up the whole If you're wanting that cutting, slicing, very saturated, compressed metal sound, then you know, join Metallica. But I just I don't see where, where it comes in. It's this one sound thing. I, it's, it's not a sound that I like. That's my main, main problem. The other problems I've had with active pickups is on stage that I can pump the volume and there seems to be this oversaturation problem where the, all the volume drops, I've got everything up full, but my clean signal is still louder than my distorted signal, which doesn't make any sense. It should be louder, but I think there's a, like a just so much saturation on it that it just drops the volume entirely. Plus they look shit. I mean, look at those, look at these plastic resin coated... 
I just really don't like the look of them, these flat things. I want to see the pool pieces, I want to see the metal covers, I want to see the... Maybe I'm just old-fashioned, I don't know, but I, I quite like the look of, you know, nickel-covered, sort of worn with the pool, screw pool pieces, or even like the uh, hex, hex head pool pieces, they look cool. What's, what's wrong with that? Why can't I have that? Just... <laughs> Rather recently, EMG especially have started to address some of the problems that I've, I've had with active pickups. They released the new versions of the 81 and the 85, um, or probably, probably the all across their entire range, which were they had more response to the, the volume controls of your guitar, were more versatile, and you could actually hear when you turned them down that the more they responded more like passive pickups, and that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, they still weren't they still weren't great. They still sounded Sort of compressed and shit to me, but um, they were addressing, starting to address the issue. And further to that, um, just come out with the headset, the uh, James Hetfield um, signature EMG pickups, which are actually really damn good. Um, I still active pickups, still active EMGs, but they look better because they've got the metal cover and it looks like they've got full pieces. EA, and they very, they just just sound more full. They sound, they sound more like a passive pickup, but with the active, extra active boost and loudness and they clean up really well when you tilt the volume down they do all that thing, they react much much better still, still wouldn't buy them there's a good video on YouTube that shows the difference between a normal set of EMGs and the um, headset EMGs like they take the same guitar, take the EMGs, play it take the EMGs out, put the new headset in and then play it again and you really hear the difference about how, how it responds and how it, how, how it works better and sounds better than the normal EMGs at them I can find the video, I will link it, click on, click on my Jack Daniels, click on my Jack Daniels, come on trolls, click on the Jack Daniels, click on there, that should, I'll see if I can get it to work, I'll get the link, um, link to that video so you can see that, and um, you can you can see what, um, what I'm talking about and how much better the headset actually are than normal EMGs. I mean, I, I'm, I'm quite sure that EMGs are the reason that Metallica hasn't produced anything decent in the last 20 years or whatever, <laughs> come on, really, it's, this, they sound terrible, doesn't they, just the, the mixing and the, I'm going to get so much hate for that, I don't care, man. the other thing that annoys me about them is you can spot an EMG player a mile off, you start listening to records, you just know he's using an EMG pickups, because it always just sounds the same, it's just, you can just tell you, yeah, that, that one's another metal player, another metal player with the EMGs, maybe that's something to do with metal players, I don't know, I hear sort of blues guys quite like active pickups, I don't know why. Of course, active pickups are really popular in bass guitars, but that's a whole different matter. Active circuitry in bass guitars works wonderfully. It gives it more punch and more definition and, you know, more... In the bass, you need that. But on a guitar, you really don't. And it's, it's, I just think it's unnecessary and uncalled for. So, yeah, that's what I've got to say on um, active active pickups. So this guitar, I'm going to sort of rip these out, put some, some normal passives and probably some cheap, cheaper sort of passives. Um, block up that crappy bridge and then maybe I'll actually want to play this guitar again. You know, it's not a bad guitar overall, I suppose. It's got better ones, though. <laughs> the sound of the passive pickups to that of the active pickups. Um, you could say I'm a little bit biased towards this guitar since I built it and everything, whatever, but I, I tried to keep an open mind on this and there was a moment when I went, holy shit, the EMGs actually do sound good and I might have, um, might have made this video and just been actually, no, I changed my mind. But then, after playing a bit more on this one, I suddenly went, no, I can, I can hear things in, in this that I can't hear in this. And, this does have a nice growl for the for the metal rhythms, but it's still not versatile enough, and I, I, I couldn't play on them for very long, and I had problems with them playing live, and this still sounds better. It still sounds, this bare knuckle still sounds better than the EMGs. So that's, and, and I, didn't, I don't know if you did notice 
it's going to be very difficult to notice this on the camera and on YouTube because it compresses everything to hell, but um, I didn't notice a particular increase in volume between the two, even though the active should have been louder. I didn't really perceive it. Um, but then again, the fuller frequency on this makes it sound louder, it fills your ear and thinking it's things are louder, there's a more fuller frequency. So, who knows? Um, it's up to you. You can decide which ones you prefer. Um, I know that I much, much prefer just squeezing that little bit extra effort out of the passive pickups and being able to have a little bit more versatility just to turn down the bit of blues and whatnot. Um, EMGs, uh, Seymour Duncan blackouts, whatever else there is. The actives, yeah, I, I can, I can live, I can live without these. I can live without these. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip these out and um, sell those on, uh, hopefully, and then I'll maybe, maybe try this guitar again. Although this one's still better. <laughs> Such a gay. Right. Um, that's me. That's the discussion for the day. Active pickups. I don't like them. Um, you can comment, leave comments, let me know what you think about active pickups. Do you use them? Do you not use them? What bands? You know, if you, if you don't really, if you like Metallica, they use active pickups. Is that cool? Um, do you put off because someone is using a particular style of pickup? I, don't, I do sometimes. I go, oh no, it's nearly energy. Um, it's about like a cliche, a metal cliche. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> okay, but um, yeah. It, Leave some response on this and we'll see what you prefer. Thanks. Oh, no.